So I'm going to tell you a story that is uh, wild and full of coincidences and synchronicities and uh, lead to a proposal. So what is this about? Two years ago, almost, right in the week before my son was born, I was walking down the main road of my uh, my village. So I live in a, a place called Moibo, and I was walking down the EVA, the emergency ac vehicle access road. And there was a shelf where people often leave things um, before they're leaving. Uh, because of course, uh, there's been a lot of people leaving Hong Kong in the last five years. And so you might find books, you might find um, watches, you might find anything on, on the leaving shelf. And uh, we were on our way to a, an art show. We were on our way to a surrealist show actually out in, uh, in Central. Uh, and there on the shelf was a mysterious object and something about it grabbed me. And, and this was it. And I saw this and, and it was strange and odd and it's got these letters on it. And uh, so I, I brought it with me and I put it in my pocket. And as I went through um, this journey with um, my then very pregnant wife and um, myself and this sculpture, I, I began to learn about it because my students, uh, many of whom are, are artists, and, uh, you know, people of the world, uh, were very interested when I posted this to them. So this is uh, on the boat and I posted it, this to them. And by the time I had actually got to the, the museum, the art gallery, I knew that this was a piece by the bronze artist, uh, Leah Poller. And um, so Leah Poller is a really well-known uh, uh, artist in bronze. She's been, been working for decades and decades and decades uh, all over the world. I believe she's based in New York, but she's uh, a, a magical uh, and, uh, and wise uh, artist. <laughs> so I, I, I decided to take her on an adventure and I, and I brought it out. Uh, there's a labyrinth near the Star Ferry that I took it into. And, and there's something about the story of art that goes beyond the, the object. So I kind of made a story of this because that's exactly what it is. It came into my hands and it came on this tour through the surrealists and, you know, it was around, there were Picassos, there were Dali's, there were um, Magritte's and, uh, and Duchamp's and all sorts of, sorts of stuff. And, uh, and so I brought this through that and it went through a metal detector to go in. Um, and then, um, and then of course I brought it back out and I wrote her about it. I didn't necessarily expect an answer, but this is the kind of thing you do. You know, we create worlds. We're artists. Artists are magicians, as far as I understand. So a few weeks later, my son is born. Uh, the times are joyous. And I received this fantastic email from, from Leah. And this started a conversation and a friendship that has uh, grown Around, around the subjects of art and of magic and of creativity and of bronze working. And I've come to understand of bronze working as being part of this sort of deep, deep, deep magical activity. I mean, going all the way back to the origins of metallurgy, we have stories about um, magicians uh, and metallurgy uh, connecting the, the two fields. And so, uh, as our friendship uh, grew, it started to become clear that um, maybe we could do a project together. And so she is working on a, a set of sculptures for a set of seven sculptures out of the tarot. And I'm part of that process as a sort of consultant. But um, the forge, uh, the foundry is up in, in, in Shanghai. And I have been invited to join her for this process of, of creating these sculptures and also to learn with her the art of 
of bronze making. Now this takes me back to uh, another thread. Uh, so about, uh, I guess, 2019, I was in Northampton and I met uh, Dr. Scott Jeffrey at a conference, the Transstates Conference. And um, I told him that I, I, I design and craft calendars. I do magical calendars. Are, that, that's my project. And he commissioned me to create a calendar called the Fairy Dog Calendar. And I won't go into too much detail. Needless to say, it's a uh, it's a, a piece of work that links the cycles of the Earth with the rising of Sirius, uh, particularly the rising of Sirius from the point of view of Mount Chahali in, in Scotland, the fairy mountain. Um, so I built this calendar, and we have a um, we have a magazine uh, comes out every year. This was the first year. Uh, Scott's work. Uh, and all sorts of fun stuff in here, and uh, we did uh, we did an almanac the next year. Uh, again, so I'm a calendar magician, a calendar artist. I design calendars that uh, that could be uh, for alternate views of the world and of time. But I've always worked on ephemeral um, um, material, right? Ephemeral. Um, uh, you know, material like like paper, for example, or in this case, wood. So this is this is um, this is what I've been designing, been working on for for, for years with uh, for Scott. Um, and it, one of the reasons it's taken so long is because, of course, COVID happened, and uh, I had initially planned to carve this uh, what's called a parapegma out of wood, and it's a counting board for for a calendar you can see that there's there's all these holes in it like a like a crib board and this is for moving pegs to indicate the various different cycles and sub cycles of this funky calendar um i have another one because like i said i design a lot of calendars so this one has 88 pegs and it's for the orbit of mercury so as you can see i've been making um parapegma for a while i've been designing calendars for about 20 years and this idea has gelled, uh, sparked by the work of Leah and, uh, and, and all, uh, all of this kind of artistic and magical practice. My vision is long term. These calendars are designed to be kept and to, um, to keep time, to shape time, to sculpt time for thousands of years. However, the media that I've been using is, like I said, uh, not designed to last for thousands of years, but bronze. <laughs> bronze will last thousands of years. So this uh, stroke of genius uh, has descended. And if I can learn the craft in bronze, then these works will have a life. Who knows, right? Who knows where this will go? Uh, I, I... I truly hope that this becomes um, a door that opens because I'm proposing to you guys to help me fund a trip to Shanghai to, um, to, to learn how to cast bronze. And I'm going to cast this parapegma in bronze. Uh, and I'm going to assist Leah uh, in terms of the tarot consultation and uh, I'm going to begin to understand this new medium. And I feel as if there are all sorts of magical lines uh, drawing me to this, um, this event. And I feel that I will learn something that can help me, help me contribute. You know, for me, this, this type of thinking, this type of artistic, <laughs> magical, work is is not an option i have to do it i i'm i'm compelled to follow this vision through and i feel that the road that this is taking is through bronze work so uh, can you help me and how well a uh, fundraiser campaign as you, you're probably watching this video uh on the fundraiser campaign if you're not then there should be a link nearby um i am raising money for uh, travel, uh, for the cost of the bronze, and for the hotel to stay in Shanghai. And this is going to be in July, uh, sorry, June, 
uh, early to mid June of 2023. Uh, I've uh, I've already got some generous donations to help me do this. I will document it. I will put it online. I will snap pictures of the process, and uh, I'll share my thoughts. And uh, I'll really um, engage with 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 the process and, and with the world as I do. Uh, but I hope that uh, some of you will feel that this is something that you, you like and you'd like to help me for whatever reason. So please, um, please, if that is the case, help me, help me to realize this. And I promise you there will be cool art that will come out of this and there will be cool stories and I will have great gratitude. Um, you can you can write me. You can talk to me. Uh, I don't have a formula for how I'm going to reciprocate, but I will always reciprocate. Especially especially if you reach out to me, we can we can have a conversation. I can do some cards for you. I don't know. <laughs> there, I, I find that the model of fundraising, where you make a promise at a tier, and boom, this doesn't work for me because every relationship is. A unique one and uh, so if you want to help and if you want to just engage in a conversation with me uh, by all means reach out uh, I would love uh, I would love to hear from you and if you want to help me become a bronze crafter so that I can make calendars uh, that last for thousands and thousands of years then uh, uh, please do and um, all right see you in eternity